What's going on, guys? My name is Gussie. If you don't know, I've been advised to piss off, it's because I am. I am extremely pissed off because this recording, being trying to record this thing has been one thing after another. Just as first thing, I forgot my cords at, at my grandparents' house. Like a dum dum for my PS3, so I had to go out and waste about 20 bucks to find to buy new ones. Secondly, I even misplaced my cl my uh. Secondly, I had to misplace my um. Uh, my mounting my iPod mount for my for my iPod for my tripod. So that means so what that means is. <coughs> As I couldn't record, thank God my dad had a clamp that I had the jerry rig on there, on here, and here we are now, and I hope that all holy hell, nothing else goes wrong. And maybe just before I hit the recording button, my friend texted me something important, and I'm just saying screw it because I just want to get this done and over with. Anyway, I'm going to be commentating over a lap at the Nürburgring, a race at Laguna Seca. Then we're going to hop over to G GT5 and re commentate over some races because when I originally commentated it, I called a 300ZX Z32 a Sunfire because I'm a big dum dum. Okay, let's get on to this bloody lap. Alright, here we go. Okay, head on to my, not to my corner. Um, this is just on my uh, flying lap. Uh, heading down to T1. Oh, by the way, my, the wheel that I use is a T150 Thrustmaster. Uh, going to, I love this car because you can take so many other corners flat that you usually wouldn't be able to because of ground effect. Anyway, um, braking very, very late into Hassan back, as you will see. Taking Hassan back, Hassan back, a bit off of the gas, but on. Just off the gas a bit. T downshift, tap the brakes, in. Uh, down the third for the, the right handed and left, hopping the curb, uh, just barely getting the grip as well. Oh, by the way, at the point in the lap, when I was uh, doing the lap, the TV went up uh, over the foot flats, taking the right hander flat, the other right hander flat, then take this left hander flat, and then just take this other left hander flat. I love how many quarters can take flat in this game with this car. And this shifts it. Missed my opportunity to shift, probably cost me a couple hundreds. Uh, over this, fl completely flat, no lift. So I'm a big boy. Uh, down to third gear for this, the right hander. Sort of like. And I don't even really know what you would call that in the throttle. But hitting it this apex and hitting this apex after that. I love that section of turns. Now, uh, up, the, up the hill. Up the hill, taking this fifth gear <coughs> over the hill. Uh, this little kink I absolutely hate. I almost never feel like I'm getting it right. Like there, I probably could have carried some more speed through that. Uh, down a somewhat long straight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, um, this car is so much fun to drive. I love driving it. It's so easy to drive as well. To have uh, over revving it actually quite a bit there, then down to miss hit miss I believe, and I think I did that pretty good. Now the upcoming turn I absolutely cannot stand. Uh, this turn I hate. No, it's, I'm dumb. That's not that one. Uh, after this section, this section is quite fun because I can get the back end the side out. Cause I always have my uh, big bias always all the way back. Alright, down to the right hand. I didn't know all the corners on Dinner Slifer. Um, run left hander, some are getting out of control a bit. Uh, so I didn't mean to hit the mic there. That right hand is kind of fun. Took me a while to get that one right. Um, up to the hilly section. It is quite fun to do in this car. I mean, this car just has so much ground effect. This turn I hate. I got that wrong, hit the wall. And did that, that cost me a lot of time, I know. Uh, that's not where my TV went out, by the way. Uh, I still have a lot of errors to improve. That probably cost me a second. Um, this car, the only thing I like about it is that it doesn't have that much steering angle. Like, at all. So it makes tracks like Monaco extremely annoying and hard to do. 
up the hill now. I'm keeping it in fifth gear, even though I probably could sh sh uh, short shift up in the sixth. I don't like to short shift in this car because you lose a lot of time, actually. Um, taking those corners flat, then over the hill, down to fifth. No, wrong one. Low lift. Oh, that's. No, it's not. Uh, then the second, actually, not third. Now, the third as we go to the first carousel. Uh, then the third, second, actually. Just kind of feathering the throttle halfway, then smashing it out of the. Uh, and smashing it going out. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Uh, commentating? Jesus. You're welcome. Anyway, that was just my dad. Um, that was the YouTube corner, I think. He kind of took my mind off of this. Um, going into... Oh, that section's fun when you get it right. Especially in this car. I love that section in this car. I'm always feeling like I'm on the limit. Uh, that was a stupid move. Um... Right handed it's also fun, which I did not get right in this lap. Congratulations. I think we should know how lap to be honest, but this is still a good lap nonetheless. Uh, overall anyway it's a good lap. I keep on shifting in the wrong places though. Uh, this part's fun, I like how the coin turns banked, apex there, apex there. Uh, this is YouTube this is not YouTube corner. Uh, if you know what that is, that's Jimmy, a joke, it's Jimmy Broadbent, a nice and racing YouTuber. Uh, do a, some kind of long right-hander. This section's kind of fun leading up to the second carousel. Since in this car it's mostly flat out except for this turn, which I had to downshift to get the turn in, and, and I did successfully, and barely just on the limit of traction, sort of. There, the second gear for some bloody reason, kind of screwing up the second carousel. Stay in the line, uh, right hand there, and then down to, and then down the, uh, after this section of turns, then down the down to Hoya, which, which I'm probably butchering, which in this, with this car is extremely annoying, because it does not have the very best straight line speed. I'm pretty sure this car only uses like an inline four. I think it uses like a V, it uses a V6. Making around 290 something, 262 horsepower, I think is the horsepower on this thing. But what I love about it is its amount of ground effect, because the car is just big suck to the uh, to the asphalt, and I love it. Now I could probably break later for this part of the for the last section of this track, taking that flat, breaking somewhat late for this last section. We'll probably break a bit later than that. On the final turn, which I hate doing at speed. A third gear up in the fourth, and I get a 930, 939-something. And I get a 939. Now, on to the next race, which is a race I did... Ugh, damn it, I hear when this happens. I hate that it does that. But that was a race that I did at Laguna Seca. And I had a feeling that was not the right lap. But it was pretty damn close to the actual lap I did. Oh uh, no, it wasn't so intense off. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Alright. As we get off, I'm missing a say, Ford GT, a bunch of just awesome race cars. The Ford GT is burned down on me. I have to break super, super late to get the back end to slide out a bit. Passing the McLaren. Coming up again, coming up to the McLaren F1, making it past the inside. I've got no power here, but I have the aerodynamics advantage. Up in the P12. Around the right hander, I don't know any turns for the green or second except for the crooks view. Around the uh, right hander, the Na thank god the NASCAR is hanging up the McLaren F1. Uh, going right around the C50Z, uh, with, I think it's a GTR? A, a GT car, no, rather. Um, now here comes a Panos Esperante. This cause a bitch to pass. Getting the back end sliding out. I'm in racing hard tires, by the way. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, uh, GT car burned, burned out on me. Passed the panels into the corkscrew, cutting it the corkscrew as well. 
because I'm cheeky up in the P10, uh, taking that turn literally flat, uh, breaking extremely late into the banked turn slightly, getting the breaking loose in the front left in the front left a bit. Now here comes a trap roll which I pass not pass around the outside because I got in grass like a dummy. Uh, I'm quite a bit ahead of, from the Esperante. Trap roll just zooming ahead of me because he's got straight line speed advantage. Meanwhile, I am here, uh, breaking super, super light, diving in the inside around the trap, end of the trap, right by the, <laughs> the left of the 2G, uh, right behind the Le Mans winning 2G1, uh, t GT1 rather, run right hander, this break a bit, you have to break so little with this if you want to win this in this car, uh, two out of six laps up in the P, I'm in P9, not rated, basically drifting, no around the left-hander, right behind the RDR8, but I can't make it pass, because I've gotten a power, GT1's bearing down on me, blocking, breaking extremely light, and using him to help me break. Okay, now I'm on to Prescalo. Um, trying to, oh, GT, uh, R8's giving me some problems, break really late into Clark's go overdo it a bit, nearly lose my position, up in the P, I'm in P7. R8, trying to hunt me down, have, going flat to the left-hander, um, trying to chase down the Pes Pescalo, breaking loose again the front left is kind of how I just did that turn, breaking super super late into that, into the left hander, in the last turn, uh, way ahead of the R8, now I'm on to what was now P6 is the X3 R9, uh, now breaking super super late into that turn, breaking loose a bit right, in the front right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, almost drifting there, sort of. Breaking loose a bit front left again. Uh, around the right hander. Not, I didn't downshift that time. I just did just to also like blip it, let the throttle a little bit. Uh, chasing down P6, which is the Jaguar, Jaguar H309. Kind of drifting that turn a bit, get my, get my back end to side out, because it's kind of how I had to drive this car to win. Uh, still in P7, really just trying to focus on chasing down a Jaguar, breaking as late as I can, like I did there, and then I have to downshift, which is the making to my advantage. Uh, let's see what else what am I doing now. I'm breaking extremely late, almost punting the Jaguar, cutting the corkscrew, giving the Jaguar a bit of a punt. Uh, now I'm hunting down the Bentley and the, the Pascarlo, taking that corner flat again, right, front right, breaking a bit loose, breaking extremely late into cutting the corner. To try to make a pass in the Proscarlo, not working at all. Make a dive bomb into the last half, last half, last left hand turn, punting the Bentley, trying to just stay in a slipstream. Proscarlo is wanting to get up, take his position back. I'm saying no, and blocking him, putting him onto the grass, uh, putting him onto the gravel even, making super super late into the into T2. Uh, in, in P5, looking for P, looking to steal P4 into the next right-hander. Do I do it? Uh, no, I do not. I guess I, uh, I give it a Bentley bit of a punt. Um, looking for position, but then I remember I got no power. I help the Bentley helps me break there. Now I'm just hunting down the R90, R90, or R89C. Bentley's looking to make a move. I block it. Almost drift again there. Pass, trying to make a pass in the R, 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 R89, but I have no power. I use him to help me break. No, I don't. I break. I pass him fair and square. I get in the back end of the side out. Um, making, trying to blocking the R80, R80, R89, making super late into the corkscrew. Actually, taking the corkscrew this time, not cutting it. P, I'm in P3 out of four out of six laps. Trying to pass the Peugeot here, which I don't know the name of. 905. Uh, downshift there. Don't break. Don't break that much. Uh, completely dive bombing that, completely screwing up as well. R92 passes me. Peugeot's coming up, I don't let him pass. <coughs> I block him consistently. Thank you, NASCAR Games, for that one. Peugeot making another, trying to make another move. I break very, very, very light into T2. Uh, so, almost locking up my front right and almost locking up my rear right. 
trying to take that flat and not working. Lock up my front left a bit. I think it's locking up or breaking loose. I don't know. Uh, just a little break there. Just a tiny little dab of the brakes to, to get the car tuned in a bit. Now I'm just turning down the R92. At 5 out of 6. Almost drifting again. Trying to get tuned in as much as possible. Trying to get, trying to get this car tuned in as much as humanly possible. T doing a fast left-hander again. Just letting, go, letting off the throttle. Which does help quite a bit. Uh, what's a Peugeot? Peugeot is miles ahead. I'm miles behind. Punting the R92. Cutting the corkscrew. Do I get ahead of him? Yes, Another I do. Another happy landing. Putting my front of the car airborne. Because downforce becomes lift when we inversed. Taking that, taking that flat. Uh, just dabbing the brakes, locking up the fronts of it. Uh, left mostly. Uh, cutting, <laughs> cutting the last turn because I'm cheeky. Uh, yeah, I'm quite a decent amount ahead of the R92. And as I go into the final lap, I'm feeling confident that I'm gonna win. But here comes the R92, not gonna make a move. Cannot because I just brake so late because of awesome this car's aerodynamics is. <coughs> uh, what? Now what? Right hander, lock up the front left. Uh, yeah, front left wants to get it right for me a bit. I say no. These tires kept on doing that. But it kind of helped me drift a bit in this turn coming up. Uh, now I'm just trying to put some distance between me and him. Taking that turn quite tight, trying to get in the apex as much as I could. Uh, left fast left hander. I took it, but too fast on the on the gravel a bit. Uh, getting the car sideways a couple of times in this, just trying to get the back end a little bit loose. A 92 was tr kind of bearing down on me. Cut the cut the curve screw just to be safe. It's a long tail. And the 92 is evidently long left hander flat all the way out. Uh, dab the brakes, oh, full on brakes, but up in the fourth, then not going to fifth yet, down the second for the last turn, and I win my home Grand Prix at La Green Osaka. Technically home Grand Prix, it's La Green Osaka, it's in America, and I win the race with so much less horsepower, that is a testament to my racing skill in my opinion. In my opinion, that is a testament to my racing skill. I to this day cannot believe I won that race, and when I was done with it, my knees were shaking like hell. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut the end the video off here because I did not realize how long this was gonna actually be. Um, it's gonna be cut up a bit when I uh, go to edit it, but that's for the better. And this is the Rusty Don't Up slow recording away, and going to be hopping into a different game so I can get an s at least one, two videos out this month. Cheers, everyone.